Hello, my name is Hardeep Tulsi and I'm a product manager for S4HANA Cloud and Co-Innovation. Today I will be taking you through the top three business drivers for analytics in two-tier ERP deployment solutions. First one is the live connection in two-tier ERP deployment. Second one is the data replication. And third one is how do you customize using freehand SQL and import data from FedEx file from the different data sources. So let's go and understand what is SAP Analytics Cloud. SAP Analytics Cloud is a single experience for decision making that allows our users to visualize, plan and predict all in one platform, giving an ability to our business leaders to thrive and succeed in the digital economy. Let's go into the live connection for 2 tier ERP deployment where it can be achieved using the path and the cloud connection. For the path where you can access your headquarters S4 HANA on-premise system connected to SAP Analytics Cloud using a reverse proxy server and SAP Analytics Cloud is sitting and access through the reverse proxy server. The second one is the cloud connection where you can configure OAuth 2.0 on SAP S4 HANA Cloud Edition Server and access your SAP Analytics Cloud integration to S4 HANA Cloud. With, you can set up the business system user, you can communication arrangement and communication system for accessing this and realizing the scenario. With the SSO, you will need the same identification provider of your SAP S4 HANA Cloud to access the SAP Analytics Cloud. We have understood the live connectivity in two-tier ERP deployment solution. Let's go into the data replication scenario where we can access the master data from your SAP S4 HANA clouds running as subsidiaries to be replicated into the SAP Analytics Cloud for realizing your analytics or planning scenarios. These master data include the hierarchy, text, attribute, and all can be scheduled through a job scheduler. The second one is the transactional data which can be accessed through SAP S4 HANA discovery service and realizing the PNL as an example to map the query and objects from the query to the model dimensions in the SAP Analytics Cloud. The third one is a freehand SQL where you can customize your query and map the objects for a balance sheet scenario and map it to the model in SAP Analytics Cloud. With this, we have concluded our updates for the 1805 release highlight and for more information you can go into rapid.sap.com and understand our different scenarios thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next update in the next release thank you